Well, we've had a great day on the water today. We've done a bit of fishing, we've seen a bit of air, we've just done some great stuff. But now it's time to clean up and check the boat for, to make sure it's all in order and ready for the next trip. So what we're going to do is just go over some preventative maintenance, the things you should do every time you get back and just make sure the engine's right and ready to go for the next time. Absolutely, Andrew. So what we're going to do is I generally run an eye over the lights on the trailer, just make sure everything's working, you haven't snagged or damaged the uh, main power lead. Tyres, check your tyres. And also, obviously, check your engine, flush it out. Um, it's in a, uh, a salt water uh, environment, which is obviously corrosive. Um, and we want to get rid of all that uh, salt out of the engine. The best way to do that, and the most thorough way to do that, is fit a set of muffs down to your gear case down here. Okay, Cover the water intakes completely. We'll then turn the water on. I'll go and do that start now. Start the engine, and then we can flush the power head thoroughly, make sure it's clean. And we now turn the engine on and leave it in neutral. So obviously you want to have enough water flow so you've got a good strong telltale. Just let it run for a few minutes and flush all the salt out of the engine so it's all ready for storage and obviously ready for your next fishing trip. And Andrew, while we're waiting for the engine to, do, to uh, be flushed completely of salt, we might as well talk about a couple of things like the idle relief port here. So obviously when the motor's idling in the water, it's got engine gas pressure and it's got to come out somewhere. So this is called your idle relief. And you can feel there's a bit of pressure coming out here. Once the motor gets up uh, or you throttle it up and there's more gas, it then comes out through the prop hub here. So that becomes your main exhaust. Other points of interest we want to have a look at as part of our preventive maintenance are our anodes. Just check those to make sure that they're um, in good condition and not loose or missing. It's usually one either side and one under the power trim and tilt unit. Okay. The idea of the anode, it's made of a material that's readily eaten by the salt water. And what the anode does is it sacrifices itself. It's called a sacrificial anode. It sacrifices itself to make sure our Honda looks as good as new. That's a great job, Andrew. With the uh, lanolin spray that we're using, it's a very good corrosion inhibitor. We don't want to use too much of it though, because it gets a little bit tacky um, and it can, it can cause uh, the rubber to go soft on different fittings. So you just want to give it a light dust over um, and that'll keep your motor looking as good as new for the next time. Now that we've uh, got the engine cleaned, washed and ready for the next outing we're going to have. A lot of people don't check the engine before they actually put in the water. Steve, what are some of the things you should look for or look at on the engine before you actually go out in the water? I, I find the best way, Andrew, is just to run an eye over it, just have a look, make sure all the fasteners are tight, especially things like the steering, make sure the steering arm and everything's tight. You don't generally see a problem, but you want to make sure that everything, you know, is you're going out in the water, you want to make sure everything's right. Um, something else uh, I recommend to check before each outing is the engine oil um, and the Hondas uh, have a sump similar to a car, it's four cycle. So we'll pull the dipstick out and we'll wipe it and we'll place it back in and we push it in all the way and then we pull it back out and we see whereabouts on the dipstick it is. So you can see you've got a low point which is that dot there and we've got a high point which is that dot here and we're just slightly over, so that's pretty good. Looks good to me. We can now wipe that and put that back in, and we're good to go. Fantastic.